In 2016, Yoshinori Osumi won the Nobel Prize for Medicine for discovering the mechanisms for autophagy. Autophagy means self-eating, a process where the body's dead, dying, cancerous, or diseased and underperforming cells are cleaned out, broken back into their basic elements to be used again to create new replacement cells. In short, autophagy is the most powerful, innate healing process the body has. It is literally the best detox there is, cleaning out everything on a cellular level. No matter what non-traumatic malady you have, in the majority of cases, the quickest way to rebalance, fix, and heal your body is to activate the super healing process of autophagy. However, in the spirit of full disclosure, whatever specific reason you want to heal or rebalance your body, there are many side effects you will have to live with afterwards as well, including clearing brain fog, killing cancer cells, rapid weight loss, curing depression and anxiety, reducing oxidation in the body, lowering inflammation, fixes and regenerates damaged brain cells, recycles old damaged proteins, killing unwanted viruses, anti-aging effects, lowering cholesterol, reversing fatty liver, improving cholesterol lipid profile, eliminating type 2 diabetes, improving insulin resistance, giving your skin a healthy glow, curing food addictions, resets your metabolism, enhances your mood, activates stem cells, generates new cells, and it generates human growth hormone, a fountain of youth, up to 1,250% increase in as little as seven days. This would cost thousands and thousands of dollars to inject that much human growth hormone, and it's better than free. Overall, it's highly anti-inflammatory, and inflammation has been linked to just about every single disease, including psychological maladies. How to activate autophagy. The fastest, cheapest, and easiest way to activate and ramp up autophagy is with fasting, which is abstaining without food for a certain period of time. There are many kinds of fasting, and all fasting is done with water. But we are only going to focus on a few of them, the best ones for helping heal and rebalance the body. Autophagy is sort of like you being trapped in your house without anyone there and no entertainment available. You'd have a nice day of rest, but eventually you'd get antsy and start to clean, organize, then make repairs, and then even do some remodeling. Your body is essentially doing the same thing. Without food taking up resources, your body can now heal, repair, and rebalance faster than ever before. Activating Autophagy for Rapid Weight Loss Being overweight is correlated with countless health problems, and eliminating this one challenge can solve the majority of health issues. One of the major side effects of activating accelerated autophagy via fasting is rapid, healthy, and permanent weight loss. This is because of one fact science is now realizing, which has falsified the entire approach the medical establishment has been teaching about weight loss. The underlying cause of obesity turns out not to be a caloric imbalance. It's actually a hormone imbalance. Insulin is a fat storage hormone. When we eat, insulin increases, signaling our body to store some of the food as fat for later use. It's a natural and essential process that has helped humans survive famine for thousands of years. But excessively and persistently high insulin levels result in obesity and all of the accompanying problems. Understanding this leads to a natural solution. If excessive insulin is causing weight gain and obesity, then clearly the answer lies in reducing insulin. When insulin levels are high, you store energy. The only way fat can come into utilization is that insulin levels must drop. The only way for insulin levels to drop is to stop eating. There is no activity, drug, or supplement we can take. Period. The traditional narrative for weight loss is to eat less and exercise more. But there is a scientific problem with that. It's not addressing the hormone imbalance. If you follow the old paradigm, you will lose a little weight, but soon enough your body will readjust and you will gain all the weight back, as millions of dieters will confirm. Also, dieting in this way will lower your basal metabolic rate, which is how many calories your body needs to survive. So each time you diet in this way, you are making it harder to lose weight in the future. These reasons are scientifically why 99% of approaches like that fail. Not a single scientific study using that approach has ever been validated. The model just doesn't work. Again, weight 
is a function of a hormone insulin imbalance rather than a caloric imbalance. Therefore, the only way for people to rapidly, permanently lose weight and get healthy is by incorporating fasting into their lifestyle. And that's a good thing because our bodies are already designed for it. In the entire history of all humankind, we all fasted. Only the last few generations did we all have three regular meals with snacks. Fasting was our way of life, and all of our ancestors practiced and lived it. Breaking the psychological hurdle. The biggest hurdle is psychological. People just can't wrap their heads around being 100% fine, healthy, and happy without eating for days, weeks, or months on end. The person who fasted the longest under medical supervision was Angus Barberi, who fasted for 382 days. He reported that he never felt hungry, had only water, plain coffee, or tea, with no sweeteners, and a multivitamin each day. He went from 456 pounds to 180 pounds, a loss of about 5 pounds a week. If you have a recent in-body scale report, you can calculate how long you can conservatively water fast and still be 100% fine. The average non-overweight person has over 100,000 calories of fat stored in their body. Most Americans could fast for 40 days or walk from Manhattan to Florida without taking any food. What happens to the body when you fast? When you start fasting, your body uses all the quick storage energy called glucose. This takes one to two days. It's sort of like eating all the food on your dining room table. After this food is gone, your body has to use the food in the fridge. This is your fat store. We generally eat so much food that we never need to go to the fridge anymore because we keep ordering more food for the table. In fact, we eat so much food that the body has to take some of the food each time we eat and put them as leftovers in the fridge, adding to our fat stores. When we stop eating, our bodies need to start going to the fridge. In their entire lifetime, many people have never experienced this transition. At this point, some people experience flu-like symptoms when their body transitions from glucose to fats or from eating food from the dining room table to eating food from the fridge. This is called the ketosis flu because our bodies produce ketones as byproducts of breaking down fats. This is normal and not really the flu. This only happens to new fasters and this symptom will fade away. But there is a surprise after we get over this hurdle. Hunger disappears because our body has now tapped into the fat stores and is getting all it needs. Since the body is getting all the fuel it needs, it stops sending ghrelin, the hunger hormone that tells you when you need to eat. Any hunger you feel now is psychological, not physiological. In the largest fasting trial to date, 93% didn't feel hungry during their prolonged water fast. The U.S. military did a study comparing the reduced calorie diets and water fasting. When the soldiers were fed a reduced calorie diet, they became obsessed with food. They would talk about it dream about it, and even save pictures of food. But when they fasted, they were completely normal and fine. In fact, they enjoyed greater mental clarity and improved health. Everyone who has ever dieted has experienced a difficult transition period when they started. The problem is, the difficulty never ends, except with fasting. So if you're going to change your diet, why not pick the one with the shortest difficult transition period that will actually end in one to three days? especially if it's the fastest, cheapest, and most effective one. What supplements do you need when water fasting? Besides water, generally we only need a multivitamin that contains potassium and magnesium electrolytes. We also need sodium or salt. Magnesium. It is recommended that we consume three to 400 milligrams a day. These are the symptoms you may experience if you are deficient in magnesium. Potassium. It is recommended that we consume 3 to 4.7 grams a day. However, your body stores large quantities of potassium. In the previous example of the man who fasted for 382 days, his body had about 4 months of potassium stored up before he needed to supplement. Unless you plan on fasting for several months, you don't need to worry about potassium unless your pre-fasting levels are low. If you become deficient in potassium, you may experience the following symptoms. Sodium. Recommended one half to one teaspoon a day. If you become deficient in sodium, you may experience the following symptoms. If you do experience these symptoms, eat some quality salt or put some in water. It's recommended that you carry salt with you as these are the most common symptoms when fasting and the solution is simple. If you are going to be doing some extended water fasting, you might want to get some blood work done to see where your current levels are. Action Plan 
The truth is we don't need as many calories as previously thought. We used to think that the average adult who is semi-active was thought to need somewhere in the vicinity of 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day, but it's actually about 1,200 to 1,500 calories. Some people approach fasting with fear and trepidation. They want to try and ease into it, and that's 100% fine and recommended. Other people want to dive in right now, but here's a good action plan to ease your way into it. 16-8. 16-8 is fasting for 16 hours and eating in an 8-hour window, which is basically skipping breakfast or dinner each day. This gives the body 16 hours to fast and starts accelerated autophagy activation near the end of the fast. Once this becomes easy, it's time to move to the next step. OMAD stands for one meal a day. This is skipping all but one meal, no snacks, whatever meal you want. Once this becomes easy, it's time to move to the next step. Extended water fasting. This is eating no meals or snacks for an extended period of time. Start with a 24-hour fast, then move to a two-day, then three. Any fasting over this should be done under medical supervision. The truth is, fasts longer than two to three days are actually easier than the other fasts because ghrelin, the hunger hormone, goes down. It goes down significantly more in women than men. It's hard to believe, but after a few days, you'll stop being hungry, and it will become a very peaceful, sublime, spiritual experience with a mental clarity you have never had before. Who shouldn't fast? Before you start any fasting protocol, consult your healthcare practitioner to come up with a plan that works for you, your body, lifestyle, and willpower level. In general, these people shouldn't fast without medical supervision. Activating autophagy for rapid immune system strengthening. After three full days of water fasting, all of the immune cells have been replaced with brand new ones performing at 100%. If you are planning to interact with sick people or want to deliberately increase your immune system for whatever reason, remember this could be part of your protocol. I've used it myself to receive some antibodies and had an asymptomatic experience. Fasting and Cancer We know that sugar feeds cancer, so you would expect countries with high sugar consumptions, like the Middle East, would have the highest rates of cancer, but they actually have the lowest. Because in Muslim countries, they all intermittently fast for one whole month during Ramadan. So incorporating fasting into your life can help counteract a non-idyllic diet. We know that cancer cells hide from the immune system, but autophagy activation seems to be able to detect that something is wrong with those cells and takes them out. Conclusion. A little starvation can really do more for the average sick man than can the best medicines and the best doctors. Mark Twain. In the largest fasting trial to date, 85% of the people who had a major complaint said the problem was alleviated or significantly diminished. Fasting is one of the most powerful, effective cure-alls to date, and it's better than free. Life is to be enjoyed, and we're not asking you to water fast for the rest of your life or during the holidays or special events. Should you fast on vacation? Should you fast at Thanksgiving? No. We understand that food is a focal point of socialization. Fasting is just the easiest, fastest way to get in balance, and you can incorporate it into mostly each day of your life. Once your body is back in balance, most Americans can easily live with one meal a day or 16-8 on the weekdays and normal eating on the weekends. Sprinkle in a three to five day fast every month and do a one week long fast every year. This will keep your body so healthy it will be almost impossible for cancers and other diseases to ever get a foothold. Water fasting is the quickest, healthiest, cheapest, and easiest way to lose weight, gain health, and make the body not hospitable for diseases to remain. It starves cancer, reduces inflammation, cures food addictions, lowers blood pressure, makes you look younger, thinner, and healthier. Good luck on your fasting journey. Watch the fasting FAQ next.